Hey there, today I'm showing you how to paint these nine simple animals with watercolor. I really tried to simplify those paintings as much as I could and I really hope that they are easy to follow along. I started with a tiger which is probably one of the more complicated ones so if you want to do something easier then maybe go for the whale that I'm starting pretty soon. Now I'm doing the first layer for a turtle. I started with a very light layer for each of those animals. Here's the whale coming together now. You just have to copy the shapes that I did here and I hope that you will come up with a similar result than I did. And then I went in with a second layer for the tiger and I made sure to leave certain spaces um, and ha let them have the lighter tone that it had before so that we have different kinds of colors here and just copy what I did here and then I went on to the turtle again and then I used a bit of a darker blue tone here and added in more and more details and I did three animals at a time so that it's easy to follow along and it's also possible that the paint can dry within each painting so that you can move on to the next one once the paint is dry on one of them. So this one is probably the easiest because this is the second layer and it's done after that. So if you're really a beginner, maybe start with the whale because it's done now. Now on to the tiger again. It has this kind of pinkish nose and everything else is a very dark tone, almost black. You can use black or any dark color. And I added in the face details and those eyes. They have this kind of fun shape because they are kind of tilted to the side when you compare them to a human's eye, for example. So if you follow what I did here, you should be good to go, I hope. And they just are underneath this light spot that I left before. And then I added in those stripes and the pattern that it has. And you don't have to follow this perfectly. Just make sure to leave certain spaces without stripes like the center of the face. And yeah, then that's the tiger. And onto the turtle again. I added in the eyes with the darker tone and also some other face details that it had. I was looking at some reference pictures but I wasn't completely following them. So here I'm adding more shadow to the shell and also to the fins and yeah it has this beautiful pattern there and I made sure that it was simplified but it was still there. So I also made sure that the fin and the shell wouldn't meet here and that it would look like two different parts of the <laughs> turtle. And then I kind of blended the darker tone into the lighter one. And then I started with the next animal. I just did this very basic shape of this bright red fish. And I kind of love this one. I love the color. And the next one, maybe you don't start with this one yet. Maybe look what it's going to be first. Because I really, really messed up this one. It's going to be a hedgehog. And uh, it didn't look so great at first. So everyone makes mistakes and I do too. So I'm not perfect. So you don't have to be either. And then I started with this bug and I really like painting bugs because there's so much fun to do and if it doesn't look exactly like the reference you have, it's totally okay because nobody will ever know unless they're kind of a bug professional, I don't know. And then I started with the second layer for the fish and I added in those details that it had and again you can just kind of wing it, it doesn't have to look exactly like that. 
and just have fun with that. You can also use very different colors than I did. You don't have to use the exact same colors. Again, with the hedgehog, uh, let's leave that for later. I'm just messing up here and we just pretend that it didn't happen. And then onto the bug and I filled it with some colorful colors. Colorful colors, yeah. <laughs> and added in some details onto its shell i don't know what that's called crust i don't know and then i added in a red tone and yeah i just went layer by layer here and just had fun with it and then i went on to the fish again and this one has this these black stripes and i added those in and onto the fins also because it has a little bit of black there as well and for the eye I just did a black circle and left a little bit of red in the middle and it also has this stripe that goes right through the eye kind of and again with the hedgehog oh my god don't even look at it just pretend I'm doing just one blob <laughs> And then I added more patterns on the bug and I really had fun with this one and I made the feet darker and also added in kind of the eye area and yeah here I'm kind of erasing what I did <laughs> I'm so glad that watercolors are pretty forgiving so um, just do this very basic shape. I'm just painting over that now and you can start here and don't do all the other things that I did before that. Just start with a brown shape like this or something similar and yeah. Then on to the next one. It's a chameleon. A bright green chameleon and I started with the face and the body and just made the basic shape again and also its tail obviously because that's iconic and also the feet now and again with the hedgehog I added in its little nose and the eyes and then also the ear and everything all the little details uh, it's not my favorite to be honest so maybe we can pretend that it's not there <laughs> but it looks kind of okay in the end and then with a white Posca pen I added in some highlights and details to all the animals, some highlights to the eyes and some details here and there. Just with the whale, I didn't add any there. The whale was perfect with just two layers. So that's really, I don't know, I really love that one. And yeah, the hedgehog gets more details and it looks kind of cute now. I'm, I'm okay with it, <laughs> with its existence. <laughs> and then I started with a very cute little fellow. It's a bunny. And I started with the ears here. And then I added in the face. And I left certain spots white so that I could add some different colors in later. And I used darker and lighter tones for the whole body of the bunny. And yeah, it's a pretty fluffy bunny. It has little feet there and yeah. Then I started with a bird and it just basically has a round head and this um, body which is not really a circle. It's this oval shape <laughs> and it has a tail and feet and a beak and that's basically it. So it's pretty simple as well pretty easy to do and i started with a lighter tone and then i went darker and darker that's a tip as well when you sort of want to sketch with your watercolors just use a really really light tone at first then you can kind of go over it 
And then I used a darker green tone for the details and the shadows on the chameleon. I also added the shadows on the feet so those would really come out as feet as they look now. And then I added more details and shadows on the bunny. It's just the same system everywhere. Just start with a lighter tone and then go back in with a bit of a darker one and then use another darker tone and that's about it so it's pretty easy and then i added in some black details on the beak of the bird and i did the shadows and the eye and the feet and the eye is just a black circle with a black dot inside it and the same thing goes with the chameleon just that it's a little bigger and um, yeah, that's basically it for the chameleon. And then the bunny deserved some eyes as well. And um, yeah, that's about it for the bunny. It just, it gets some um, details and there, uh, yeah. Now the ears are going to be this light pink tone and um, yeah. We're almost done now. I added some details to the chameleon again with a white Pasca pen and then some details to the bird and to the bunny and everyone deserved a few details. I really hope that those are kind of easy to follow along. I also did a dark blue stripe on the outside border of the piece so that everything would kind of um, go together in this um, layout so i really hope that you could follow at least one of these maybe pick your favorite one or do them all or just some of those let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this what kinds of animals that you would like to see or if you would like me to do just one animal and that one in more detail next time i'd really love to know that i wish you a very very nice week and i'll see you next time goodbye